Okay. So, obviously, now week eight has passed for the college football season. And I want to start with a game that might not have been on everybody's radar, but it was Florida State versus Clemson. Uh, Clemson was favored by nine and a half points. They covered the spread by a last-minute fumble recovery for a touchdown at the end of the game. Um, so, obviously, Florida State has suffered another loss, which put them to 3-5, and five, ending their three-game winning streak. Florida State had a chance in this game. I mean, they really controlled most of the game, like, from start. And they their defense really stepped up. You might argue that, you know, Clemson's offense is not the best. Obviously, it's not. But Florida State's defense is sort of good. It's not the best in the world. It is really, really bad, though, if you put it in the standards of, it, like, Georgia and Alabama and the Big Ten teams. But, um... Florida State's defense stepped up. They didn't allow any points in the third quarter, although they didn't score any points in the third quarter either. That score didn't change. At halftime, I believe it was thirteen to yeah, it was thirteen to seventeen. Um, it could have been fourteen to seventeen, but that uh, blocked field not blocked field goal that blocked extra point after the touchdown um, kind of set Florida State back. The final score was twenty to thirty with a Clemson win. Extending their home game winning streak to 32 games in a row. Florida State was hoping to end that, but they didn't. Um, Florida State led 6-3 to three for a while. And then they scored in that amazing 75-yard touchdown pass by Jordan Travis. The one where he landed on a Clemson defensive player and kept going because he never touched the ground. I think that was one of the best plays of the entire game. That was the play of the game. We are never going to see another play like that in, in this entire season. I don't know. But Clemson could have easily had this game in hand 100%. They could have had a bigger margin of victory if they did not miss, like, I don't know how many field goals they missed in this game. But it was almost like watching Alabama try and, like, older Alabama teams try and kick a field goal. It was like Clemson fans were sitting on their toes and crossing, the, and crossing everything they could on their body, hoping. That they made that field goal. Um, but Florida State's defense made Clemson's offense look elite. <laughs> I mean, they've scored more points against an FBS opponent than they have all season. 17 was the most points they've scored against an FBS opponent before this game, and now 30 is the most. Um, it should have been 23, uh, considering their. No, it should have been 24, considering their. Fumble recovery in that lateral that Florida State tried to do to win the game. But, um, Florida's defense made stops when, it ne when they needed to. But they also didn't, when it became to, when they came to them scoring, they were good at it. But when it also came to them trying to defend after they scored, it didn't work. Because if you look at a touchdown when they scored, it, if you look at their touchdowns, after they scored a touchdown, Clemson also did. Like, uh, the touchdown in the first quarter with um, Deshaun Corbin, uh, they got a touchdown in the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, Clemson scored a touchdown as well. Then in the second quarter also, they, he, that 75-yard miracle touchdown pass that Jordan Travis threw, it was another touchdown. And then Clemson scored after that. It was Will Shipley that scored. Speaking of Will Shipley, he shredded this Florida State defensive line. He shredded this entire Florida State defense. The Seminoles could not stop him. He ran all over them. Um, that Florida State's running game could not get going either. Deshaun Corbin had 9 carries for 31 yards compared to Will Shipley's 25 carries for 128 yards and 2 touchdowns. Deshaun Corbin didn't even have a single touchdown. Florida State had a defensive touchdown and two offensive touchdowns, which is pretty shocking. Um, Jordan Travis went 14 for 22 for 176 yards and two touchdowns. He performed pretty well against this Clemson defense, which is pretty, which is really good. Florida State could be bowl eligible. Next, this going into um, the end of the season, considering that they won't face another another defense like this. They can beat 
Boston College, they can beat that kind of team. They can beat Boston College. We thought Boston College was going to be better, but apparently not. I mean, they beat – Syracuse beat Boston College. I think Florida State can beat them. Florida State beating Florida, I'm not so sure. Maybe. I mean, Florida State might catch Florida on their knees. Florida State can beat Miami. So, let's see how that goes. DJ Uyangalale. No, I said his name wrong, but give me a break. He has the longest name. It's like saying Tonga Baloa. Um, but he went 19 for 30 for 189 yards, one touchdown, and obviously he had he had thrown an interception just like almost every single other game in his entire career. Almost. <laughs> Even Florida State made him throw a pick. But yeah, uh Toa Philly. Lawrence Toa Philly for Florida State. That I think he's the one that had that. Yeah, he had that phenomenal touchdown pass. He had one reception for 68 yards and one touchdown. That's his one reception that he had. But Florida State kind of crumbled in this game, I felt like. Yes, it was at Clemson. At Clemson and Death Valley is a hard place to play when they go up there on the top and rub their rock. I know it's hard for them to play there. But Florida State did pretty good. I'm surprised they hung hung in. Even though Clemson's not that good this year. They are 5-3 and three now. But even though Clemson ain't that good, I'm surprised Florida State hung in. Um, let's look at the teams overall. Uh, Florida State had a total of 241 yards compared to Clemson's 377 yards. Um, passing was... Clemson's strong suit, they had 189 yards passing and 176 for Florida State. Rushing yards was Clemson's supreme strong suit. Florida State Hunters had 65 rushing yards and Clemson had 188 rushing yards. Uh, penalties were the bane of Florida State, I think. Uh, you can argue this was the worst officiated game in college football because I think that myself. Those last calls. On Clemson in the last seconds of the game when Clemson had the ball I believe was the worst officiating that they had so many BS calls it wasn't even funny like those calls for pass interference that's just good defense the way the defender was on the receiver that's just good defense I could, there was not enough contact at least for me to say that was a pass interference but if the defender had looked back for the ball, that would have been easier. And it would not have given the, given the ref an excuse to throw that flag. But, yeah, Florida State did pretty good. Florida State's fumbles are ridiculous. They had two fumble, fumble loss. Florida State, I mean, Clemson had two fumble loss and one interception. So they had three turnovers. Time of possession was kind of favored in Clemson, though. But... I was hoping Florida State won this because Florida State was going in the right direction. Florida State is heading in the right direction. Um, just about every one of their games they've lost were one possession games, except for the Wake Forest game, and I don't, I can't remember. I think the Louisville game was also one, uh, one possession. It could have been. I, I can't remember. But um, if you you shouldn't count this as not a one possession game. This was a one possession game. This game is a lot closer than the score um shows. Because uh, that last touchdown by the um, by the defense and the lateral for Florida State was well, that don't count. At least not for me, it doesn't count. Um, but I think Florida State is heading in the right direction. The Seminoles have a good coach. They have a good coaching staff. Their play calling needs some serious work. Running it um, three times in a row, going up the middle three times in a row, that doesn't work, especially in a defense like Clemson's. It does not work. So you, they need to learn. They need to understand how to play call plays. I'm not a football coach, so you can argue that I have no idea what I'm talking about. But running it three times in a row would not confuse this defense. But anyway, Florida State. I hope they are going in the right direction. I love seeing the Seminoles do good. I was hoping they would could hold on into this get into the lead, but they didn't. But we'll see. How they perform against Miami and Florida and Boston College in their next few games. But, yeah, I hope they do good. Anyway, this is it for my, my um, review video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. 
and maybe y'all can comment some videos y'all want me to predict or like um preview for the next week anyway i'll see y'all in the next video